Hello there. Well, before I upload the next series of videos, which is going to be the shed door, uh, building of the shed door for the additional addition shed here, um, let me just show you here. Some of you have asked about the paint and so forth. Well, it's done, so let me just give you a, a little uh, tour of it. Now, as you can see, the roof, uh, everything's taken off the edges, it's finished. You're seeing stuff in the middle here. That's to keep the valley covered so that Sammy don't start drinking the water that's in the valley. So uh, that's a temporary thing for now. I will remove that, but that's the only thing left on the roof. So let's take a look here. Because you've asked me, people have asked me about the finished uh, look here. And, of course, the, the video on building this door here will be the next thing I'm going to be uploading, and that's in three parts. But I did want to um, just show you right now. The project is basically complete. Stuff is stored in there, and the lock is, uh, is on and everything, and all secured. So those of you who are interested in how I made that door, there will be videos coming up in the next few days if all goes well. As you can see, it's storage. And it's pretty full. But I got a little more room for more stuff. Not much, but I do have room. In the future, but I'm not sure exactly when, there's going to be a project coming up that I'm not going to enjoy doing, and that's to take this greenhouse down. I cleaned out the redwood set. A lot of stuff has been cleaned out of here. The truck is loaded with the redwood set. We're bringing it over to a friend of ours rather than see it go in the dump. The cushions, after almost 30 years, are in excellent shape. Of course, I used to paint this every year for our cookout. But the last cookout was 2009. Cookout days are over. So these will go to a good home. As you can see, there's still some things in here. But it's going to hurt me because a lot of work went into this. A lot of detailed work and everything. But... We don't have cookouts anymore. So, we still got to find a home for some of these things. Some of this stuff gets thrown out. Uh, this is extra roofing that will be uh, stored, but I'm not sure exactly where yet. And uh, there isn't much left in here. We got the grill here. The picnic table, those two things are going to be out in the yard. Basically, uh, this is the tarpaulin I had on the roof of the shed. So pretty well things are a lot cleaner than it was the last time you probably have seen this. Now, in case you haven't seen my earlier videos, a lot of you are new to my channel. I built this greenhouse in 19. 88 when Tommy was one year old of course I made the roof higher at the time I built this it was a low profile roof and uh, it collapsed on me because I got a lot of snow on it and I didn't have uh, these collar ties here and I didn't have a center pole originally the roof was just supported by the walls a lot of work went into this this is 15 feet by uh, 16 feet but we're going to have to tear it all down because I got a good sized shed and the idea of building that shed addition was to store the stuff that was in here that I wanted to save. I used to have a uh, jukebox wall box, a rock holder, which I donated to a, a fellow in upstate New York who collects those things. He paid for the postage and I sent it to him about six months ago. We used to have two bar stools here, 
uh, and uh, it would be like a 50s uh, setup. If you look back on my earlier cookout videos and so forth, and even the construction video back in 1988 uh, on my one of my earlier videos, you'll see all that and how I started out with this thing. Like I say, it's going to be a hard thing for me to do, but I'm going to have to do it. Here it was a TV monitor, which I used to have a uh, slideshow playing through so that people, when they were sitting in here and eating, can watch the uh, slideshow of the family and all our relatives and everybody back in our younger years. We used to have our food out here, coffee pot and everything. We had two circuits here. Everything was on extension cord. One big extension cord plugged into the house. And it was just, you just unplugged it when you didn't need it. It was a 12 gauge on 220. I, I split the circuit. So we had two different funds. We put the coffee, uh, crock pot on one and uh, the bean pot, the uh, big bean pot on the other. Or, and we had our coffee pot plugged in over here. We still got our coffee pot. We're not getting rid of that. Thing. We used to have some fine times over here. Many good times. But the last cookout we had was 2009. And uh, I did a video pertaining to our cookouts if you want to look back on them. But People aren't interested in coming over anymore. They're busy with their own families and their grandkids and so forth. And, you know, it's just uh, not the same anymore. And there's only the three of us, so we don't need the, all this anymore. So, uh, we're going to have to tear it down. But I'm not sure when, but I probably will do a video on it. Probably uh, set the camera on a tripod and just do several video clips until the whole thing is down but I have to be able to get a friend of mine to get the truck over here uh, to take away the wood. I have no more room to store any wood. There's a lot of good 2x4s in here but a lot of it has to be cut up and gotten rid of. So welcome to the nut house. Well no more, I'm afraid.